Welcome to FL Studio Mobile. Today we're looking at the Instruments tab. First of all, you need to know the instrument selected on the Instruments tab relates to whatever track is selected on the Tracks tab, Track Editor. Let's start with a step type instrument. Generally, you'll be loading the content from the lower two categories, drum kits and loops. The piano type instruments relate to the synths and instruments. It is possible, however, to select the piano track and load step type instruments into it. Or select a step track and load piano type instruments into it. OK, back to the instrument tab controls. To change an instrument on the selected track, all you need to do is tap one from the list. You can also change the pan and volume. Those two controls are the same ones that are here on the tracks editor tab. To reset a control, you can hit default or you can double tap a slider. One useful feature here is the preview button. You can tap on it to hear some sounds or you can tap and hold then drag up and down to preview the whole keyboard range. The attack and decay sliders change the fade in and fade out time when the note is played. Of course, how these interact with the instrument will depend on the underlying sounds and the natural volume envelope. One final thing before we go, I thought I'd explain a little of what loops are. If we open the loop in FL Studio for Windows, you can see the waveform here in the fruity slicer and the slice lines. The cool thing about slice loops is they allow you to rearrange the original loop to create your own variations and change the tempo all while maintaining a natural sound. Until next time, enjoy using the Instruments tab. <laughs> <laughs>